I'm recording now. Uh, I did the video uh, with students. Um, I, I did the, the meeting with the students or forgot to turn on the recording for the class. And I'll go over roughly what I, I did, did in class, uh, some by memory, some by prompt. Um, we'll, um, I did uh, take the attendance and make some comments about that. This is the exam week and uh, you can get to the exam uh, on uh, virtual campus, Moodle. You have a week to do it. Uh, it's a, it, it's probably a pretty generous thing. Um, it's uh, similar to an exam I would do uh, actually in class um, live with students. Um, where you get just three hours and and modest resources, and this time you've got the spreadsheets in a week, um, and uh, we'll um, we'll let you look at that. Uh, so uh, I'll go and uh, I'll share. Um, what have I got? I can share the exam. Uh, lots of things to share. Um, well, I, I would like you to put the name on it and also the name on the file you upload. Uh, um, when you when when you do that, uh, I'll I'll have less tendency to do that. You can either type it or write it. Um, certainly, either one's appropriate um, uh, for that uh, measure. Uh, you can um, uh, print the stuff and circle it and and mark it up. Uh, it is helpful if you combine everything in one document, like a, uh, a Word document that allow you to insert pictures and lay it out. And there are multi-page views, which uh, let you uh, organize your pictures kind of nicely. Uh, yeah. Now, um, it is possible you might have a scanner. Those are, those are kind of rare. More often, you might have a, a, a phone. Uh, if you have a phone, you can take pictures of your handwritten stuff, and uh, if you can get them to your computer, you can assemble them in like a Word document if you have Word. Um, you um, need to, uh, and the way I do it, and it works kind of nicely, is if you have a Android and Google Chrome, which is free if you if you use it. Uh, you can just put the stuff, you could, um, you know, in, install Google Drive on your phone and share your pictures via Google Drive. Then all your pictures are now in the cloud uh, in your Google Drive account. And you have a Google Drive account, you have a Google account because you have email at Oh, we'll see. Um, and then uh, you could go into Google Chrome uh, and there's uh, like a tools area to the right or apps uh, and in there is drive and you can click on that and it'll pull up your drive stuff. And then you'll now have your files uh, on your computer. Uh, well, they're, they're still, um, they're still in the cloud, uh, but you could you could then go and and download uh, download your your stuff. The other thing is when you submit your file, I'd I'd like you to uh, put you know at least part of your name in the text of the file. I, I I do download the files and work out them as a group, and it's easier for me to to keep my records if I do it do it that way. Um, now it's it's due uh, next Monday at one, 
and let's see. Uh, I have a cursor. Uh, you can get a pointer if you go into draw. Um, uh, and you can consult others on preparing your uh, on the exam. And uh, I, I'll be able to help only in a limited manner. I'll go through this as I did in class, give some hints at approaching these problems. Uh, this is actually dealing with the definition of population. You can go to the index in, in your uh, book and uh, look where population is and find that out in chapter one. Um, uh, it, you probably can start looking uh, up some of these terms here that are the answers. And as you got got found some of the definitions, others will likely be on the same page. Uh, and uh, you'll probably find the answer from there. We have different scales, nominal, uh, ordinal, um, interval, ratio. And this book combines ordinal, uh, interval, and ratio uh, uh, together. The um, uh, sample um, so uh, just by just by looking up uh, those definitions, you uh, you can. Um, you get the answer there. Um, ordinal scales. Oh, I have both a PDF format and a word format of uh, of this as assignment, so um, you can. You can work on both if as somebody didn't have Word on their computer. Um, uh, I, I guess you you uh, probably open it in Google Docs and you'll get something. I don't know if it, the layout will be close enough for it to be uh, workable uh, or not. Um, but the PDF format, um, you can probably uh, read an acrobat reader. Uh, well, in chapter one, you'll see uh, towards the end some of this notation. And we did some work with these notation. And it is important that you can recognize the difference um, between those, which I guess eliminates one of the things. Uh, and then the next question is you do one of the calculations here. And I, this one is modest enough. You you might be able to do it just with a pure hand calculation to, um, uh, yeah, if, if you're used to doing that. With the hand calculator, it wouldn't be so bad either. With uh, a spreadsheet, it, it'd be even easier. Uh, calculate the total quiz scores from your uh, frequency table. Please show your work. Um, this is uh, um, use of the word frequency, uh, how we use F and how we calculate the total. So uh, in chapter two, we're working with these frequencies and adjusting our formulas that way. Uh, what we have here, um, just the definition of frequency and some of the other letters in there, I guess, which is N and X. And uh, sigma here, of course, means sum up or summation, the Greek capital letter sigma. Uh, uh, just a matter of, uh, Probably the way to approach this is guess and then check the definition 
to see if you've got it right. And then guess again if you didn't get it right for problem eight. Uh, problem nine, um, you can use um, positively skewed or negatively skewed, uh, uniform or normal. And uh, uh, again, looking up the, these definitions of skewed, uniform, and normal will get you the answer here. Uh, one F over N. Uh, this formula might not be in the textbook, but um, looking up these definitions, uh, if you can find them, you might get an answer that will give you a good guess. Uh, this is uh, a more complicated uh, problem. Um, uh, just some comments. The mode you can get just by observation. The median, uh, you're going to have to calculate another, at least one other column, uh, maybe two. And uh, the mean, you will have to uh, uh, do some uh, another column and some some addition. Uh, addition and division. Um, when we started to introduce the standard deviation, uh, this term uh, came up, uh, the summation of x minus mu, uh, and the property there, you'll get the answer for. Uh, this table, um, remember, uh, you've got a bunch of things you have to answer. You just don't have to fill out the table. You have to get these these things all calculated here. But it isn't too hard once you, um, uh, once, uh, uh, once you get this, um, uh, values here. The hard part is doing that, completing the table. Um, best way to do this is probably to get a uh, spreadsheet. Um, and uh, a spreadsheet lets you, of course, uh, uh, pull down the results of these columns and do the calculations, and they'll show up. Um, uh, likely faster than you can see them pop up the calculations. Um, yeah. Um, so much for chapter three, chapter four. Uh, look up extreme values and outliers and just uh, in that discussion, you'll likely see see something here. And um, related to it, uh, you'll get other definitions of these other terms here uh, in the same discussion you saw in the uh, previous uh, previous system and you'll be able to interpret that. Uh, this one, uh, well, the big hint is, of course, this is the section on z-scores. Uh, so, uh, and uh, this population, this definition comes a little later. Uh, we have another one that, uh, uh, that is for the population terms, uh, and the formula is a little different, uh, but uh, this one's uh, still fairly easy to find. Um, hmm. Oh, this should be 18, right? <laughs> Why is it 12? A long story. Uh, uh, and uh, this is just the definition of a z-score. We did calculations of those before. And uh, uh, this one, uh, 
um, using your empirical rule, that's that picture of the, the normal distribution and the percentages on it, you, sh you should be able to get, get that one uh, pretty easily. Some of you might be able to do it by memory. So uh, that's, all, that's all I've got uh, for this week. Uh, it was a short week. Uh, and uh, I'm, I guess I can uh, stop the share and, and stop the recording now. So thanks. Hopefully you'll have, have a good good week in prepping these things. Okay. Um, stop the share and stop the recording. Uh,